All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your marketing profiles updated. As the new year approaches, it's always a great idea to take a little time to work on your business, get your systems ready for the next year so that we can start off on the right foot. But one thing that a lot of people forget to update is their marketing profiles and those headshots. So I'm gonna show you how you can get those updated so that way you can make sure you have all your current data, um, your statistics, uh, shining on your profiles so that way you can kind of brag on the year before you have a whole nother year underneath your belt of experience so I'm sure there's much more that you can talk about um, to make you look like the expert in your field so I'm going to go ahead now share my screen you can see I'm ready for Christmas with all my backgrounds so the one place that we definitely want to update, of course, is our command. So command, um, when we update our profile there, it's going to update our profile on our free KW website. And that one actually allows us to have the most information. So you get to talk a lot about yourself in your command profile, where other profiles tend to be um, word restricted. So I'll just kind of show you how I use my main one in command, and then I copy and paste to my other profiles. Sometimes you have to take out a couple of sentences to make it work, uh, but you really want your profile to be as consistent as possible. So when you log into command on in the top right hand side, you'll see your name and hopefully your photo there. I'm going to go ahead and click this upside down triangle next to my name and I'm going to click on profile. When you're in your command profile, just to change your headshot, all you have to do is hover over the photo. So if you had a new headshot done, um, you can upload that here by just clicking and then you'll be able to upload a photo right from your computer. To update the rest of the information, you're going to want to go ahead and click edit profile in the right hand side, and then you'll just go down through and fill out the information. Make sure your email address is updated, phone numbers, your service areas will help you for the referral section in command. So if um, an agent from out of state is looking for somebody in your service areas that you have listed, um, you'll be able to pop up for them. Your bio is probably the most important. Um, I would be a little personal here. Feel free to look me up. Brittany Giles um, is my name. You can look at my bio here. I am a little personal. I, I get real in my bio and I'll be honest. Um, there's been a lot of people who say, no, it's business. Like just give stats, nobody cares. Um, I can tell you that's not true. I've actually had several clients use me um, because of information that I had included in my biography. One being that I grew up around military bases and I moved every three to four years growing up. Um, so a lot of military families can relate to that and they know that I can relate to them and, and how stressful it is to move um, that frequently. Um, also, I talk about getting into real estate and um, how I was a single mom and, and real estate got me back on my feet that resonates with a lot of people. So um, I think being real, talking about your why is completely appropriate in your real estate biography. Make sure all your URLs are updated. If you don't have a URL in here, you can see here, I don't have a Twitter. So it automatically just puts in Keller Williams International's Twitter account. So you wanna make sure that your YouTube accounts and Facebook accounts and LinkedIn, they're all updated. Um, I just got a Google URL, so I'll be updating that once I can do the verification process. And then you'll see here that you can determine what is shown on your profile and what is not. And then you want to just make sure you click save. So super simple um, to get that updated. I recommend having your bio in like a Google Doc um, just so that way you can have it easily accessible. Uh, but you can see that you can just copy right from here so that way you can then go through all your other profiles and update them. The next one we're going to talk about is Facebook. So when you're in Facebook, you're going to go on the left hand side and click pages, select your real estate page. This has changed quite a bit since um, I first did a business page, but on the left hand side, you can scroll all the way on the bottom left where it says edit page info. And then you can go through here and update your information. Um, in the business page, 
profile, you can see the description doesn't really let you add a whole bunch here. The character limit is 255. Um, so I kept it short and sweet on this one, um, but I do have my website included. So that way they can go to my website and read the about me section there. So Facebook is fairly simple, um, less is more. You do want to make sure that your profile photo on your business page is the same as the one that you have in command. So you, your headshot is a part of your branding. So you want that branding to be consistent across all your profiles. To change your photo, you just have to hover over your photo, click it, and then you can change it from here. And then of course you can also um, update your head header photos here. Um, there are designs in command. That's where I got this from. Um, or you can obviously use anything that you'd like. I like to change mine seasonally just to refresh the page. Um, but really the, mo the most important part is your photo here. Your next one is Zillow. So even though you may not buy leads off of Zillow, you still have a profile within Zillow um, that's underneath the Zillow Premier Agent umbrella, and it connects to the Bright MLS, and that's how you get um, credit for the properties that you have sold. So if you come on the right-hand side, you do have to log in. Um, you'll see here there's past sales. You want to go ahead and click on this and make sure that you're not missing anything. Um, so you can go through here and just make sure that all your sales are showing, especially your most recent. If there's one missing, you just click add sale. You'll type in the property address um, and there'll be a couple steps for you then to follow. Um, but it basically it connects to the email that's in Bright MLS. If you have an issue uh, with where you had multiple emails, you can click this help button um, and contact support. Zillow will help you connect the profiles. Um, also on the right hand side, if you just click profile, um, you can click edit profile or about me and you can just go through here. Um, you can see like I need to update my headshot, right? That's an old headshot. I don't look like that anymore. Um, and you want, again, your branding to be consistent across all of your pages. Um, so you can just scroll through here, make sure you're filling all of this out. I wanna make sure that my KW web address is now showing um, and not my old website. So I'm gonna update that here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. Um, another one that you might need to update, right, um, is your Google business profile. You do have to sign in to Google business profile manager, and then you will have a box here that says complete your business profile. You can click plus, and then you can go through and update information here. Just keep in mind um, that you do have to update or you do have to have verification. So when you go through all of this, they're gonna send a postcard to you to your business address. So that way you can verify it. Um, so you can see here, I'm not able to do too much because I'm still pending verification, but Google Business Profile Manager might be somewhere that you need to update um, your profile. Another one is LinkedIn. So you can see I'm automatically logged in, um, but to edit your profile here, it's typically pretty simple. When you go to your own page, you'll see that there's little pencils everywhere. Um, when you click on the pencil, so here's about me, you click on the pencil and it allows you to update your profile. Um, you can see here that LinkedIn gives you 2,600 characters. So um, I think I was able to pull my whole profile um, from command and just paste it right into here um, without having to edit it like I did have to for, I think it was Zillow, I had to reduce mine. Um, again, you wanna make sure your photos are updated on this one and your cover photos. Upload. I 
had one that I just did. So I'll go ahead and just show you how simple it is to update it. You can see all my pictures here. I've been posting the happy birthday one. So we'll just go ahead and add this. LinkedIn's cover photo is really um, skinny, long and skinny compared to Facebook. So anyways, um, that's how to update your marketing profiles um, as we head into the winter months. It might be a little bit slower, so don't just prop your feet up and relax, right? Use this time that you would normally be working to work on your business and get all those things updated so that way your marketing um, is all unified. Remember, you and your headshot, your story is part of your branding, so you want to make sure that it's consistent across all of your marketing platforms. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Thank you so much.